Hey folks, it's your boy Caleb and welcome to my channel, Prodigy Kids. My goal is to make learning fun and interesting because knowledge is power. Today we have a special guest with us for our Prodigy Kids interview series. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications. We have had great interviews with leaders from a wide variety of fields and today is no exception. Without further ado, let's get into our interview. Dr. Shayla Bethay is a native of Columbia, South Carolina and daughter of Cheryl and the late James Lights. Upon graduation from Spring Valley High School in 2003, she went on to continue her education at the University of South Carolina and earned a bachelor's degree in chemistry, magna cum laude. After briefly being in the workforce, Dr. Bethea returned to school and pursued a doctor of pharmacy degree from the Medical University of South Carolina in Charleston, South Carolina. Dr. Bethea began her pharmacy career working as a community pharmacist with Walgreens, but has since transitioned into hospital pharmacy and is now employed as an informatics and support services pharmacist with Prisma Health. In her free time, Shayla enjoys spending time with her husband, Dr. Gary Bethea, and four sons, Keon, Gaius, Elijah, and Nolan. They enjoy great food, traveling, watching movies, and fellowshipping with their extended family and friends. The Bethays are active members of First Northeast Baptist Church and also strive to make a difference through their newly founded nonprofit organization, Deeper Than Dentistry. Please give a warm Project Kids welcome to Dr. Shayla Bethay. Thank you for joining us today. So how does it feel to be our featured guest? Um, well, I am super excited. I am thankful that you thought enough of me to have me on your show. Um, I think you've been doing an awesome job so far, and it's just been wonderful just watching all of the uh, topics you've done so far. So thank you. Great. Today, we're going to talk about your career in pharmacy, what it takes to become a pharmacist, your nonprofit organization, and some fun facts about you. Let's start by discussing how you first became interested in the field of pharmacy. Tell us how you were first introduced to, to the profession. Sure. So I have always um, enjoyed math and science. So in school, um, those were the subjects that I just really loved to go to. I mean, I still worked hard in all of my other subjects, but um, I was drawn to those, so I knew I was always going to do something involved with those subjects. Um, and later, so um, as you read just a minute ago, I went to school and earned my bachelor's in chemistry um, at U USC. Um, and then I graduated and I uh, floated, I guess, a couple of careers around um, and then ultimately decided on pharmacy um, with the help of my mother, who was working at Rite Aid, so there, I don't know if there's any Rite Aids around anymore, but she was working with Rite Aid and she um, connected me with um, a female pharmacist that she knew. Um, and so I was exposed to the world of pharmacy that way. Feels like pharmacy requires super math and science skills. Do, do you enjoy these subjects as a kid growing up? I did. I did. I did. I love, um, I loved math because, and I tell my son this all the time, he is in algebra, but I just told him math is just so, it, I love it because once you learn like the rules, then you can apply it to anything. And that's kind of the same with chemistry as well. But um, I just love, you know, the uh, simplicity of math and science. <laughs> Some kids don't think you have to take school seriously. Do you think you would have been able to become a pharmacist if you didn't work hard to earn A's in school? 
No, I think you do have to take school seriously, even if it's subjects um, that you don't think you're going to need later. Um, you never know what you're going to end up doing or what you're going to have to use when you grow up. Um, so you do have to take everything seriously and it just helps you become um, a better person overall, because even like I said, I I like math and science, but I still did well in history and English and um, social studies and just all those other subjects. And now I'm still able to, you know, enjoy those to a certain extent because I learned and, and still paid attention in class. So I think no matter what you plan on doing, it's important to do well in school. You also learn uh, general life skills outside of what you're going to do as you know for your career um, in school as well in these different subjects so always take it seriously we learned in your biography that you studied chemistry in college did you have to major in chemistry to become a pharmacist you did not. I actually started off as a biology major um, and there were a couple, I switched over to chemistry just because I just happened to like it better. It was more, I guess, um, more, I guess it was similar, more similar to math, I'll say. So versus I felt like biology was just remembering a whole bunch of facts. <laughs> So I think I started to enjoy chemistry a little better. So I switched over to chemistry, where again, I you know could learn basic principles and then just apply it to whatever problem that was given. So, um, but when I was in pharmacy school, my classmates, they, there was a wide range. There was someone who was a realtor before they decided to go to pharmacy school. So they helped people buy and sell homes. And there was someone who came out of the military. There was someone who, um, other biology majors and uh, physics. So it was just a wide range of things. You do have to have like a set of classes that you um, are required to take before you get to pharmacy school. Um, they still don't require a bachelor's degree. So in some cases, you can take two years worth of undergraduate um, classes as long as you get all of the requirements out the way and go straight to pharmacy school. But um, I think chemistry definitely helped me. Uh, and of course, most of the, the pharmacy pharmacists have a background in chemistry or biology. But if you you uh, start somewhere else and, and decide to go that way. It's still not too late to do pharmacy. After you graduated from college, you decided to pursue a pharmacy degree. Did you have to take any special tests or examinations to qualify? You do. You do have to take um, a special test uh, called the PCAT. So you have to get that um, and you have to do a certain, you know, score a certain number in order to, it's all pre-pharmacy stuff, basic like math um, and sciences. So you have to take that um, and, and see if you can do fairly well on that test. That won't be, that won't make or break you as far as getting into pharmacy school, but you do need to, to perform fairly well on it. You currently work as an informatics and support services pharmacist. What are your responsibilities in this role? So it's a mix of, I guess, pharmacy and um, computer work or computer technology work. Um, so we no longer directly work with like the patients and the nurses or the physicians. We kind of are behind the scenes. So we help take care of the pharmacists and the nurses and allow them to better do their jobs. So we um, help with like medicine cabinets. So helping them dispense their medications or get their medications to the patients. We help um, build uh, new medications in the system um, so that they can order them for their patients. Um, and we just do a wide range of, I guess, things to help the pharmacy work better, or help the hospital work better, because we also um, look at some of the financial um, items. So we review items to make sure that medications are charging correctly so that patients aren't getting overcharged or they're not, you know, buying or having medications on their bills that 
may not necessarily be correct. So it's just a wide range of things of just helping everything run smoother. We're going to pivot a little and talk about you and your husband's nonprofit Deeper Than Dentistry. What is the mission of Deeper Than Dentistry? Yes, so um, the main thing we do at Deeper Than Dentistry, so he is um, a dentist, and we're both first year, first generation um, doctors in our family. So we didn't have a lot of to look to, you know, within our family or our close circle of friends when we were going through school. So our main mission is to help guide those uh, students right now who don't see, you know, um, dentists or don't know dentists personally or pharmacists personally or just anyone in healthcare. So, you know, help be mentors to them and help guide them along and answer any questions or help them get into schools by, you know, writing references for them. So our main mission is um, to try to be good mentors to mainly dental students, but we do, you know, anyone who's interested in pharmacy, of course, or interested in healthcare in general, we, we will help them as well. And um, Doc Gary, my husband also um, goes and speaks to schools as well. So that's a part of what uh, Deeper Than Dentistry helps coordinate. And um, we also, we haven't been able to do much because of COVID, but we also try to help those patients in our community who may not have the, the funds or may not have the insurance to uh, get regular dental work done. So those are the main components of our nonprofit. Let the Project Kids Nation know how they connect with you. Do you have a social media or web presence? Um, we do not have a social media, but we do have a website. Um, so uh, our website is www.deeperthandentistry.org. Um, we also have our individual, you know, Facebook pages that we may uh, tag um, Deeper Than Dentistry, you know, events or um, mentees in. So, of course, Shayla Bethea or Gary Bethea. Um, and then we also have an email address if someone wants to email us directly, and that's info at deeperthandentistry.org. Now we're going to transition and try something new today. We call it the lightning round. You'll have two options to choose from for each question. Select the <laughs> option that is your favorite of the two. Are you ready? Sure. Awesome. Here we go. Batman or Black Panther? Oh, Black Panther. <laughs> Basketball or football? Ah, this is tight. I... I don't know. I enjoy both of them. I think I'm going to go with football or yeah, I'm going to go. I'm leaning on football. It's close though. <laughs> Beyonce or Mary J. Blige? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say Beyonce. Got to go with Queen B. <laughs> LeBron or Michael Jordan? Oh, buddy. Michael Jordan. I love LeBron, but we'll say Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's still on top. Stephen A. Smith or Oprah? Hmm. I don't know. Stephen A. Smith is pretty funny, but I used to watch Oprah every day in undergraduate school. So I don't know. I will go with Oprah. First Northeast Baptist or First Northeast Baptist? <laughs> well, First Northeast Baptist, yes. <laughs> awesome. I like that. Before we go, what advice do you have for kids like me? You know, kids trying to do great things. Yes, I say just keep going. Um, just keep being creative. And um, of course, just whatever ideas you have, write them down and um, and keep God for it first, of course. And um, I think you'll just keep on doing great things. Would you like to give a shout out to anyone before we sign off? Hmm, a shout out. 
don't know. Well, I'll say I'll give a shout out to my husband, Gary, and our four boys. So um, I guess that'll be it for my shout outs. <laughs> As always, thank you, Project Kids Nation, for your viewership. Until yeah. next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and rise up. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>